In the late 19th century, the picturesque town of Aurora, Texas, nestled among the serene Texan plains, was a tight-knit community focused on farming and ranching. However, on April 17, 1897, a remarkable event unfolded that would forever alter the town's history. The Aurora UFO Incident, a captivating encounter between the townspeople and a mysterious aircraft, captured the nation's attention and left an enduring legacy of speculation and wonder. Back in 1897, the concept of extraterrestrial life sparked both skepticism and fascination. With a population of only 300 residents, Aurora stood far removed from the bustling cities, cultivating a simple and peaceful existence. Yet on that fateful day, the tranquility of Aurora would be shattered by an inexplicable phenomenon. According to historical accounts, an unusual airship, described as cigar-shaped and made of an unknown metal, crashed into the windmill owned by Judge J.S. Proctor. The impact resulted in significant damage to the windmill structure and scattered debris across the property, including fragments of the peculiar craft. Witnesses marveled at the wreckage, noting the presence of hieroglyphic-like markings on the ship's exterior. Some eyewitnesses claim that the pilot of the crashed airship was seen attempting to repair the damaged craft before succumbing to their injuries. This detail adds to the intrigue surrounding the incident, as it suggests that the pilot was not simply a passive passenger, but actively involved in the events. Among those who gathered at the crash site was S.E. Hayden, a local newspaper reporter. With meticulous detail, Hayden chronicled the events surrounding the Aurora UFO incident. Eyewitnesses shared their extraordinary accounts, claiming that the pilot of the airship was not of this world. Descriptions varied, with some witnesses mentioning a small statured being, while others described a humanoid figure. According to their testimonies, the otherworldly pilot perished in the crash, and its remains were allegedly buried in the Aurora Cemetery. The sensational claims surrounding the incident turned Aurora into a focal point for UFO enthusiasts, historians, and skeptics alike. News of the Aurora UFO incident spread rapidly, capturing the attention of newspapers across the country the story gained national intrigue and fervor, sparking debates and curiosity. In the aftermath of the incident, a public meeting was convened in Aurora to discuss the peculiar occurrence. The townspeople gathered to debate the veracity of the claims. Skeptics put forth theories suggesting a possible meteorite impact or a failed experimental aircraft. However, Others fervently believed in the presence of extraterrestrial life, considering the crash as undeniable proof of its existence. As time passed, the incident gradually faded into obscurity, becoming a forgotten fragment of history. Yet decades later, researchers and UFO enthusiasts sought to delve deeper into the Aurora UFO incident they endeavored to locate the alleged grave of the extraterrestrial pilot in the Aurora Cemetery. To their disappointment, they discovered that the grave had been disturbed and the headstone mysteriously vanished, leaving behind unanswered questions and intensifying the intrigue surrounding the incident. Despite the passage of time, the Aurora UFO incident continues to capture the imagination of Aurora's residents and visitors. 
it has become an integral part of the town's identity, attracting tourists and UFO enthusiasts from around the world. The incident stands as a testament to the enduring allure of the unknown and the perpetual question of whether we are truly alone in the vastness of the universe. Thank you.